So welcome, Laura Ariana Reina. Uh, you will be talking about the welcome team and how to contribute uh, without packaging in Debian. <laughs> Hello, thank you all for coming. Uh, this talk is uh, like two talks. I mean, the topics are related, but I will talk first about the welcome team. Uh, the Debian welcome team was like an idea that came up in 2015, maybe m before, but I learned about it uh, that in that time. Uh, the idea was to, um, to get people from that are occasional contributors to, regular, to become regular members of the, any team in Debian, and also to help newcomers uh, to start contributing to Debian, the typical um, situation of, I want to help Debian, I want to give back something to the community, but I don't know well what to do. Huh? Uh, and some teams, some Debian teams, have some mentoring um, initiatives, but uh, we also thought that maybe we, we need uh, some effort that is more global, uh, some people guiding that knows many teams in Debian and try to find the best place for each one, uh, depending on their skills or their time or what they like, whatever and also to share among the teams the different things, the tricks, the how-tos uh, about mentoring and about encouraging people to join Debian. So we are not each team thinking uh, and reinventing the wheel. So the history uh, that I know pro is probably older than that, but uh, I know this idea from 2015 uh, there was a, a both in DEFCON 15, uh, and the idea was brought up uh, by Ashish Laroya and Enrico Cini. I joined remotely, and I tried to figure out and create. Uh, we were thinking about uh, creating a wiki page, and we thought, and we found out that, that there was a, an old wiki page called wikidebian.org/welcome. There was also an old. RSC channel, Debian Welcome, and we decided to give it new life. And then when we started to work, we found out that it was, that old effort was not really dead. There were people there in the channel, and people did it in the wiki page, but uh, mm, they were uh, focused mostly in new Debian users. And we wanted to have a place for new Debian contributors. So we talked with each other and we decided to share the infrastructure, the pages, the wiki page and the Debian channel. And the, because some people come and mm, they can just begin to contribute the same, at the same time that they become users too. So we decided like that. And the resources that we have, uh, the pages that you can visit, and I will show later, uh, is wikidebian.org welcome slash users, that <coughs> I'm not in that sub-team, and wikidebian.org slash welcome slash contributors, uh, that uh, you can find the, name, the names of the people that are wanting to, to help this effort. And for now, uh, it's mostly me and now Jean Philippe that he's around. Uh, the IRC channel, everybody is welcome to join the welcome <laughs> channel. Uh, we are like uh, 15, 20 people there just lurking and people come and ask things and we guide them uh, depending we ask back uh, what are your skills or what do you want to do or people that for example want to uh, are interested in the artwork and they don't know where the teams uh, that uh, care about that or whatever we have no mailing list uh, i don't know if it, this is good or bad if we have time we can talk about this later because uh, I feel that some people are really shy to post anything in public. 
and the mailing list has a child, so <laughs> uh, it can be intimidating. And I feel that the RSC channel is more mm, fresh and more easy, but on the other side, new people, not many new people know and use IRC, so, well, something to think about it. And I say no dedicated members because ev I see all the, uh, all the people that we are hanging on the channel. Uh, most of us have, are members of some other teams and are quite busy. So um, there is nobody particularly dedicated to welcome people in Debian, except in other teams that I will explain now, but not in the welcome team. So uh, it's a little bit weak, the team. We need more human resources. And there is some overlap with other Debian teams, uh, for example, the outreach team, uh, but uh, usually they are focused more in more regular programs like Google Summer of Code or Outreach with a certain calendar and cer specific people and it's n the welcome team is more like uh, informal. Uh, there are some mentoring efforts around Debian women, Debian diversity, not only mentoring but also um, being uh, nice to new people, being welcoming, <laughs> in fact. Uh, in the Debian super user support channels, usually people ask anything, so uh, they receive also information about how to join Debian or how to become, uh, join a team. There is also, of course, Debian mentors for the people interested in packaging software. There is also a new member process for people that uh, decide to become uh, um, former members of Debian. And there is the Debian documentation project. I put it there because uh, at the end people ask uh, how can I help? Because they all they don't know. So maybe improving all our documentation or ha or having a focus in welcoming uh, new contributors in our, docu our our documentation maybe could help too. And uh, some challenge challenges that we face uh, we need. Uh, we need uh, a big team, a very big team, because uh, Debian is very diverse and very spread. It's not that we have like uh, 10 teams in Debian. We have, I, don't, I didn't count, but probably we have minimum 30, 40 teams, different teams. There are many, many, many different areas and nobody can know everything. So everybody is welcome to help the welcome team because probably you know some parts and in that in those parts you can uh, give advice or uh, um, give the hand to the newcomer to make the first contributors contributions together or whatever uh, but we, the other teams that i show in the, in this slide also need <laughs> many members too because the tasks are very big so if we, after my talk you think that it is not uh, an interesting effort, the welcome team, but, the, but some of the others are interesting for you, please join the others, okay? And I say that uh, the new Debian developers are the best members for the welcome team because uh, when you are new to Debian, but you already passed the new member uh, process, you know uh, how Debian works, but you also remember uh, your old times when you were a newcomer. When you stay some years in Debian and you become to know many people and attend some Debian events and become comfortable with the infrastructure and with where is Th where are things and so on, then you become to begin to forget uh, the, all the, the new, the, the feelings and the strange things 
uh, that mm, people mm, that is not in Debian find when they come to Debian. So if you are a new DD, uh, and also because uh, when you are new DD, maybe you have your main interest in Debian and not, not much more things. So this is the time <laughs> to, to choose to mentor somebody <laughs> uh, before that we catch you for other things. <laughs> And on the other side, uh, I would like the, that um, I would like to propose that we think that the whole Debian community should be focused in welcoming people. Not, I mean, having a dedicated team is not something for the other teams to say. Oh, this new person, I can I can uh, send him to somebody and I don't need to be welcoming because there is a welcome team to care about that. No, <laughs> I mean, my, my proposal is that uh, is the other way, mostly. Uh, this person comes to Debian and I know that in that team and in that, in that, in that, in every team there, are, there is somebody or there are some people that are especially focused in welcoming. So, from the welcome team, we send the newcomers to these other teams. Hmm? And I would like to send people to any team in Debian, not to a particular team, because I know that there is a person welcoming there and not in other teams. So, well, you get the idea. So, uh, thinking about myself and uh, my, the teams where I participate and maybe uh, these are some things that came to mind that I propose you, the, uh, everybody in Debian, to think about the teams where they are participating to know or to maybe uh, guess if mm, our team is welcoming or not, how can we improve. So usually in one team, we have uh, different levels of commitment. We have occasional contributors, we have regular contributors, we have core members, and we have retired members. We can, if you are in the team since some years, you can look uh, to the past and see the movements of people, people coming and going, jumping from one uh, group, subgroup from, uh, to another, for example, so how many people retired, how many new people came, if somebody stayed in occasional contributors for, so, for too long and didn't, come, and didn't become regular contributor, maybe something is wrong there. Or if somebody is a regular contributor for a long time and is not, never was a core member, maybe something is wrong. I mean, it's perfectly, it's perfectly fine if it is that that is the decision of the person, but maybe we can think about the team if we are facilitating this kind of movements or people that don't retire because they don't find other person to do the work in their place, things like that. And also we can look at our team membership and look at our diversity uh, if we are everybody too old, if we have people from different uh, places, cultures, skills, uh, if there are tasks that nobody picks up, never, things like that. Also, we can look at our communication channels. Uh, if people ask, mm, shows up, wanting to help, how the team answer that kind of questions or proposals, and, uh, and also uh, the team infrastructure, if the tools that we use are well documented, documented or if, we, if our work is known in Debian and outside the Debian, if we uh, have uh, some event or blog or place where we put news about our team or what do we do. <laughs> if we don't uh, show our work, uh, new people is very hard that they come to join because they don't know 
that we exist. And maybe uh, if these uh, questions resonate in you or um, some of you, maybe you can call for a team meeting and discuss about this and maybe some tasks uh, show up uh, to, to make your team more welcoming. But in any case, uh, the important thing is to find uh, specific uh, things to improve and to be realistic and to, I mean, everybody, we have ideas and talking is very easy, how we should do this, we should do that. But uh, we also need to find the time and the motivation to actually do. And finally, uh, I invite all of you and all of your teams to share your work. Uh, join the Debian Welcome Channel, the Debian Outreach too, and also use the Debian Publicity Channels to make your Debian work or team more known, not only inside Debian, but also in the, in the wider uh, audience. And that's all uh, for the welcome team. Uh, if you have questions or comments, we can talk later. And in the IRC channel, I'm always there, so you can find me. Uh, I, I wanted also to, to show some specific contribution opportunities. There are really many, many things that uh, anybody can do in Debian, but I wanted to show some two or three things that don't require uh, coding skills or packaging and it are more or less easy. So if you know somebody that says, I want to help Debian, but I don't know what to do. And if she or he is really open to do anything, you, and you don't know what to say, you can say, go to this uh, video and, and watch the video and do that. And this is just starting and later they can, if they don't like, they can change him. And probably they will also know uh, uh, more specific things that they like or they don't like in Debian. Uh, yes, this I already said. Many corners to start. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to do alone, to start alone. Uh, and the other, the other possibility is to ask the people uh, who are you, what are your skills, what is your time, but I find that some, this sometimes can be intimidating because uh, if you say uh, to somebody that you don't know, how much time can you put in a week for Debian? It's like a very strong question in my opinion, so it's a difficult thing. So, okay, I will just this explain. Span cleaning is a very, very easy task. Uh, uh, it has uh, secondary uh, collateral effects that it makes you read about Debian <laughs> because you review some mailing lists and you see the topics, even the subjects of the, the mails. Find, trying to find the spam, you see some things that happen in that team and you say, you and learning, re reading about Debian. It's uh, very invisible, but very appreciated. I mean, when somebody goes to the mailing list archives and find the list full of spam, it, it's very difficult to find the correct uh, the mail that you were looking for. But if it is clean, uh, it's very nice. So, and you probably are, the person that asks, or you are probably sus already subscribed to some Debian mailing list, so you can clean that list uh, and maybe choose another one to learn another topic, another Debian topic, and subscribe there. No, in fact, you don't need to subscribe. You just read the web ar archives. And uh, it's in two steps, mark uh, the spam, and the second step is the step is actually clean the spam. For the second step, you need to be a Debian developer. But if the person marking a spam 
is, uh, in, is uh, insist can convince somebody to to do the second part. So um, you just uh, review the mailing list archive. I will show later. You when you review the the archive in the web, the every message has a button like a mark as, as a spam. So it's just pressing the button when you find the spam. And then editing a wiki page to reflect that you review that month of that list so people know that this, that work is done. Vale. Uh, now I'll make an example. Okay. Okay. So for example here, uh, there is uh, the lists, some lists that uh, are doing the spam cleaning, no? And uh, then, for example, you go, you go with, if you decide to clean Debian woman, so you go to list Debian or Debian woman, and then see the months that you want to clean, and here there is no spam. So you see the other, there is no spam, no spam. Well, this is clean already, I think. I will choose another one, for example. And, well, I am very unlucky. <laughs> Which one? Like this? No. No. Why I don't use the, the my my lists, my teams, that I know that they, they have. Here, okay. This is a spam. I don't understand the language, but this is spam. So you press there, and it's a spam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's all. I mean, for the first, uh, you just uh, go through the, the, the whole month, marking maybe this one, yes. Like this. And, well, I will not uh, review the whole month, but you see it's very easy. Okay? And then you go to the corresponding team that we have again here in Webmaster. And then you edit the page marking that you review the months, the corresponding months. You edit this page, uh, you, ha you need a wiki account, okay? Uh, but if anybody has, trouble, has troubles with these things of having a wiki account, blah, 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 you can send them to the welcome team, uh, IRC channel, and we can guide. And then you edit and you put your name or to reflect the, that you reviewed that uh, month, okay? And when we have five uh, reviews, uh, we decide uh, it, uh, I mean, automatically the system mark actually as a spam that uh, message. You know, we are quite conservative. Eh? And, and then if you are a DD, uh, it will appear to actually remove the, the mail from the archive, okay? This is, uh, looks like uh, strong, but uh, well, we care about the, our archives and we, mm, somebody could also vandalize the, with the spam, 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 with the mail messages that they don't want, that they are stored. So, so it's a bit, um, mm, well, mm, maybe boring or tedious, but if anybody begins with this, and they discover that it's too much, no problem. They already have a wiki account in Debian. Now you can uh, switch them to translations in the wiki, edit <coughs> wiki pages, or whatever, okay? 
And if you are a DD, uh, you can help clean in the spam. <laughs> so you go to the corresponding uh, URL. If you have no password, you request a password, and then you review the mails, uh, confirming or saying that it's ham, not spam. And then the, that mounts will become clean for the next people uh, reviewing the archive. Uh, I think I will, I will uh, skip to another task. Another task, for example, testing the Debian images. Uh, we produce uh, installer images, leaf images, now also cloud images. When there is a release point or when we are going to release, these uh, images are prepared before than publishing and we leave some time for people to test that actually the installer works and in, you know, we have many architectures and many different uh, desktops and many different hardware um, systems. Some people uh, want their system encrypted, some other people want it using the, the accessibility options. Uh, so there is a lot of things to test and the best thing is to have a very big team that uh, each, pe each person tests different things. So in few time, you have many different tests uh, run. And you, you can join, it's just about uh, downloading uh, the image and try to install or try to run the images, okay? So this is the, the corresponding URL on where they explain the CD team and leaf team explain uh, how to do, what to do. You can also join the corresponding IRC channels to ask. And also you can keep an eye in the release mailing list or in the publicity team mailing list to know the weekend that we are going to release some, something. Uh, so you can put in your calendar, Saturday evening I'm going to test Debian. I don't have better thing to do. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's fun. Elena can, I think, can tell too. I, I, I cannot test usually, but I am hanging around in the channel and uh, it's, it's really fun and they are very, very nice people. So why not? Uh, the, uh, actually, key. Uh, the team uh, prepares a page where explaining what to do and for the, uh, each release prepares a matrix of the different tests. So you can just uh, try to run the Debian installer in specific architectures or with a specific desktop or accessibility options or whatever. If you have uh, particular hardware, the better. Uh, here you can, where you can download from, and then uh, there is the big matrix, test matrix, where people claim the tests, then download, and they say the, the, the what things, uh, specific things they tested, in which, har in which hardware, which desktop, and if it is runs or not, if it passed the test or not. This is done usually for each release point, but you can do it at any time with the Debian installer, with the new release of the Debian installer, and with the leaf images. The leaf images particularly are not uh, very tested because uh, we don't have many, many people. So if you want to have an interesting weekend, you can just join. And if you have a spare uh, machine, a laptop, no laptop, or whatever, you can just try, okay? And let's come, to, let's switch to the next one. Ah, and well, at some time, we will release Debian 10, so we will need many, many, many testers. <laughs> so put in your calendar some weekend or some, some week in the next uh, weeks, months, we don't know, but probably before the end of the year for sure, and probably before the autumn for sure. 
uh, we will need your help. Oh, pardon. And about user support, uh, this is not about uh, joining the user support channels. This is if you are already there giving su user support channels, we would like you to give feedback to the other Debian teams, uh, to Debian Welcome, to the publicity team, because it seems like, maybe I am wrong, but for me, I feel like there are two worlds, uh, and the user support is so uh, energy-consuming task that uh, people just decide if uh, I will do user support, I barely have time or energy or motivation to do all the things in Debian. And the people that are in other teams in Debian just don't have the energy to add user support. Well, I know people that are in both, <laughs> but uh, it's, di it's difficult. So uh, if you just pick an eye, uh, just put an eye in, in your uh, language user support channel, Maybe it's fine that uh, you give some feedback to the other teams, the outreach, the welcome, the publicity, the documentation from time to time to, to know if we should do anything better. Or and also, uh, you can consider to focus in a subgroup, for example, join the Debian accessibility mailing list or mm, Debian desktop. Uh, and then you just look, look there and join, and engage when you have time or when something pops up that you know. I mean, it's not like uh, uh, I join I join a mailing list and I become core member from the day one at all. And of course, again, the the publicity team. Uh, I will do like this. We welcome help in all our channels. Uh, if you don't know any of our channels, just ask or just find. Uh, and also, uh, we welcome people creating content. We usually publish micro news. The, the thing that we publish more often is micro news. Uh, that is uh, a sentence and a link. Uh, and uh, transforming that in a paragraph for the Debian Project News or a blog post explaining a little bit more uh, or adding a photo or whatever is very welcome. Okay? So if you don't, I don't know what to, how to create content for the publicity team, just go to the micro news feed. And if some news already interests you, you can just summarize it for the next Debian project news or give it another focus in a blog post or whatever. Uh, we also welcome proofread and translations. And also the people that are the English is not their mother language, uh, really. Mm, it's not so important. We have uh, native speakers reviewing our content. So it's better that you send anything or commit anything, and then we review quickly all together and we get it, get it in shape. It's true. I'm, I mean, uh, it's no excuse that English is not my mother language to contribute to the Debian publicity. Uh, we, I was making to the publicity team the, the questions that I show in the welcome team part, and I realized that we need people uh, moving uh, from the roles. We, we have uh, many people, uh, occasional contributors, but we need them to, mm, to get more involved, okay? So if you were thinking about it, uh, you are welcome, just do it, okay? And um, I think that's all. I left five minutes for comments. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, does uh, the mix between helping new users and uh, new contributors uh, with the past year's experience, uh, what, what was the feedback about? Did it work well? Did you manage to mutualize stuff? Or was, it, was, was there was there confusion or redundancy? Uh, another question. Uh, are slides available somewhere? And last questions. Uh, last question. Uh, you talk about something related to tasting ISO that uh, Every Saturday evening or this evening, something will happen. I didn't uh, did not no. understand. <laughs> okay, the first question I understood. The third I understood. The second I didn't. But I will. <laughs> uh, we didn't have uh, feedback. We don't have feedback about uh, the not much feedback about the uh, what the things that worked in the past and not. It, it was just like that uh, we wanted to use the welcome word and after we mm, revived the channel and we edit the wiki page we found out that uh, there were people mm, saying that hey why are you uh, using uh, our wiki page for a different thing <laughs> and then uh, we had to talk each other of course and everything was friendly and uh, we just decided that uh, both teams are somehow related and we couldn't uh, choose which one keeps the word welcome uh, because it's silly that the one keeps it and the other one changes or try to find another thing so we decided to share the infrastructure but that's all the second question can you repeat repeat are your actual slides full of link and interesting resources available somewhere uh, yes, uh, in the slides there are some uh, links and I will, the slides will be uh, uploaded to the wiki page, to the welcome uh, contributors wiki page. So if you keep the last uh, URL in your mind or only welcome, that's enough. I will do it uh, sometime during the weekend. Yes, we encourage uh, all speakers to share their links to their slides on the wiki page. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best place. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, not only the wiki page of the conference, the wiki page of the welcome team also will include this talk. Okay. And there was a third question about the testing images. Yes, no, no. I mean, we don't know when are we going to release uh, Debian 10 or Debian 9.10 or whatever but not usually uh, we know with some days in advance so if you keep an eye on the Debian publicity team the uh, channels or the Debian release channels you will know at least with one week or ten days before to when is a uh, release uh, weekend. So you can join that weekend in live uh, in the RC with the CD team, the leaf team, and test the images right before they are published. So you become like a privileged person to know if the image works or not before the other person knows. That, that was the, the idea. And uh, um, it's not really a question, it's more like a, a, a suggestion. So uh, we have this association organization in France which is called Framasoft, who did this uh, big project of ungooglifying uh, the world. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, more or less it succeeded in ungooglifying France, more or less. So we, we used to do these workshops where we welcomed people from which were not uh, computer scientists and ungooglified their computers and phones and we still do that and now their next project is the uh, contribution uh, workshops project so what they do is that they do workshops where people from that are not computer scientists come and contribute to 
to free software. So uh, what they do for this is that they uh, pick projects that have clear things, simple things to do. So for example, you could do a page where you say, if you have five minutes, you could do, and then you do this palm, ta ta ta, you list the things. If you have 30 minutes, you do ta ta ta. And this could really help us as a free software activist. I, I could do these workshops and uh, take these websites and then uh, follow the steps and uh, make people contribute to Debian in like five minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, one week. So maybe you could do a both about this tomorrow, yes. or I don't know. No, tomorrow, <laughs> yes. unfortunately, oh, I cannot do it. Yes, this is this. This also needs to be done. Some team wiki pages have such kind of lists of uh, easy tasks or quick tasks, and then more uh, difficult tasks. But uh, maybe they are old and they need uh, to be updated uh, a little bit. This uh, is a very interesting idea. And of course, uh, welcoming buffs. In DevConf, I think it is done at, at least some years. And in mini DevConfs or uh, Debian user groups, it will be really nice, yes. It just needs the human resource effort. <laughs> so I think it's, that's all. Or? Yeah.